Hi and welcome to Engineers Fit. In the today's class, we have to see two of the most important terms that is hatograph and masker. Let's begin with hatograph first. What do you mean by hatograph? Hatograph is nothing but it is a graph between rainfall intensity and time. Let's write the definition. It is the graph between rainfall intensity to time so hatograph is nothing but it is a graph between rainfall intensity and time in the previous class i have told you that rainfall intensity is nothing but depth of the precipitation divided by duration of the rainfall so i have told you to remember one thing i equal to p by t that is called intensity i equal to p by t suppose this is a data is given and we have to plot a hatograph from this data this data says that in the date 11th of april 2019 a rainfall has occurred and the rainfall has started from 12 am in the midnight from 12 am in the midnight to 2 am in the midnight the intensity of the rainfall was given as 2 cm per hour he simply put a recording type of rain gauges and recording type of rain gauges just simply measure the intensity values according to the duration of the rainfall from 2 am to 4 am the intensity value of the rainfall is given as 3 cm per hour for 4, uh, 4 am to 6 am the intensity of the rainfall was 1 cm per hour from 6 am to 8 am the intensity of the rainfall value is not given that means the rainfall has not occurred between 6 am to 8 am again from 8 am to 10 am the intensity of the rainfall value is given as 2 cm per hour means again the rainfall has started in 8 am and the rainfall has ended in 10 am because from 10 am onwards he hasn't given the intensity value simply the rain has stopped in 10 am let's plot a hatograph to plot a hatograph i just have to take time in the x axis and time is in hours in the y axis i have to take the in intensity value that is in centimeter per hour so from 12 am the rain, rain has start so i just have to write zero here from two, uh, 12 am to 2 am the duration of the rainfall was 2 hours so 12 to 2 2 hours from 2 am to 4 am again the duration was 2 hours 4 am to 6 am again the duration was 2 hours 6 am to 8 am again the duration was 2 hours from 8 to 10 the duration was 2 hours simply i have written the intense uh, time value in uh, x axis i just have to write the intensity values also i just put the intensity value randomly 1 2 3 4 5 simply i have write the intensity value L let's now draw the hatograph so from 12 am to 2 am the intensity value is given as 2 cm per hour so simply the time interval for 2 hours the intensity value is given as 2 si similarly from 2 am to 4 am the intensity value is 3 means for the duration of the 2 hours the intensity value was 3 from 4 am to 6 am the intensity value was 1 means for a duration of 2 hours the intensity of the rainfall was 1 again from 6 to 8 am the intensity value is not given means i don't have to draw anything again from 8 am the rainfall has started and from 8 am to 10 am the intensity value is given as 2 just simply i have to write and plot a graph like this simply a bar chart from 6 am to 8 am no rainfall and again from 10 am no rainfall is occurred thus i have plotted the hydrograph suppose in the examination they give a hydrograph like this and they just ask a cumulative depth of rainfall from this hydrograph so simply remember area of the hydrograph is equal to cumulative depth of rainfall so 
so how to find cumulative depth of rainfall i have to find all those rainfall values and calculated accordingly by this data suppose from the first data let me let me calculate intensity i value is given we know that i equal to p by t intensity i value is given as 2 cm per hour p value i have to find duration is 2 means p equal to 4 cm similarly suppose this is p1 this may be p2 and p3 suppose area of the hydrograph is equal to p1 plus p2 plus up to the number of values so this concluded hydrograph let's move to mass curve so we have seen the hydrograph now we'll talk about mass curve so what is mass curve mass curve is nothing but it is a graph between cumulative depth of rainfall to time let's write that it is a graph between cumulative depth of rainfall to time means it is a curve that is between cumulative depth of rainfall and time what is cumulative depth let me tell you suppose i have to draw a graph and in x axis i have to take time and time in hours and the rain has started in 12 am so i have to start from zero and each interval is of two hours so i have to take each interval is of two hours two four six eight and ten in the y axis i have to take the cumulative depth of rainfall just i have to write cumulative depth of rainfall and the unit is in centimeter because the intensity value is in given as centimeter per hour we know that i equal to p by t and the precipitation value will be in centimeters so for the first two hours intensity is given as two centimeter means we know that i equal to p by t first two hours intensity is two precipitation we have to find as p1 first precipitation depth and the hour is two so p1 equal to four centimeter so i have to write i have found my first coordinate If I draw two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and so on. So my first coordinate I have found four centimeter. Suppose for the next coordinate, next coordinate I have to find uh, found as p2 i can find that intensity is given as 3 and duration is 2 hours that is 6 centimeter so now what is cumulative depth so cumulative depth for the first 4 hours will be p1 plus p2 that is cumulative depth p for first for for 4 hours that is p1 plus p2 that is 4 centimeter plus 6 centimeter that will be 10 centimeter so with respect to 4 hours my coordinate will be 10 similarly for the next interval the intensity is given as 1 and p3 will be 1 into 2 that is p3 will be 2 centimeter so cumulative depth will be p equal to p1 plus p2 plus p3 that is 4 plus 6 plus 2 that will be 12 centimeter so next for the 6 hours the my coordinate point will be 12 centimeter 
from 6 to 8 there is no rainfall means the coordinate will be same as 12 cm from 8 to 10 am simply the intensity value is given as 2 so the next precipitation depth will be 4 cm so again the 4 cm will be added to 12 cm and the cumulative depth will be 16 cm so according to 10 hours there will be coordinate suppose if it is 16 cm so this will be the coordinate and let me join these points so this is known as a mass curve suppose there is no rainfall after 10 hours means i just have to make a straight line here that in the case same as from 6 to 8 there is no rainfall means at 6 hours the cumulative depth is same 12, uh, 12 centimeter and for 8, uh, 8 hours the cumulative depth is same 12 centimeter so this is a straight line for for 6 to 8 and again there is a straight line after 10 hours with respect to 16 centimeter so this is known as mass curve this is known as first storm duration then again the storm has stopped and again from 8 to 10 storm is occurred so this is known as from 8 to 10 is second storm duration so this is all about mass curve mass curve is nothing but cumulative depth of rainfall with respect to time i hope you have got it that's now for today